Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're making Colombian steak. So if you guys want to know how to make this easy recipe, please hit that subscribe button and watch me cook. As you guys can see from my ingredients list, this doesn't take very much and it doesn't take very much time at all either. So let's get this thing started. So you guys know that I'm going to use all my veggies first and chop it up before I throw my meat on the cutting board because we don't want more dishes. You're gonna grab one to two tomatoes and start slicing. Don't use a dull knife like me because you know what happens. Injuries can happen in the kitchen at that time. So grab a sharp knife and cut these as thin as possible. Slice it all the way through. Once you're done slicing the tomatoes through, go ahead and put these in a bowl aside and then grab your onion and let's start slicing through the onion as well. Peel off your skin, go ahead and grab your knife and we're going to do the same thing with this. We're just going to go ahead and slice the onion as thinly as possible all the way through as well. And remember, if you guys want to keep your onion steady, just chop well, a slice off a part of it on the bottom and then lay it flat or it'll sit flat and then you can just slice it through without it rolling around. Same thing with this as well, just go ahead and put your onions in a bowl aside and then let's grab our steak. I am using a top sirloin steak, use whatever steak it is that you want as long as you go ahead and again slice these through as thin as possible. Now remember when you guys are slicing this through and you guys have it a little bit frozen, it'll be a lot easier to cut through. Also remember that when we do cook these, it's going to cook faster because they are, they are in smaller slices. Now I did say three teaspoons of cooking oil, which is, I'm using olive oil, but you use about a teaspoon for each thing. So we're gonna start off with our meat with a teaspoon of olive oil, and we're gonna go ahead and cook that through. Cook it to about medium, so that you have enough juices left when you start sauteing everything together. Now I am using about a quarter teaspoon of cumin right here and garlic salt. Use this to taste. Again, about a quarter teaspoon of that as well. We're going to cook this through and then what you're going to do is taste your meat later and if you feel like it needs more, go ahead and add another quarter teaspoon or so more. Whatever you think you need to have it match your taste. When you're finished cooking your meat, go ahead and put that aside into a clean plate. And then we're going to grab our vegetables and our olive oil and start cooking those as well. But before we do that, if you guys want to do this, you can do it. I just threw a couple of slices of the tomatoes around the edge of a bowl just so it's a little bit prettier when we do present it on the table. Now go ahead and clean off your pan and add another teaspoon of olive oil right into your pan and add your onions that we had set aside into it. We are going to saute these onions for about two minutes and let it get soft and they, it will break apart so it'll be easy to cook through. Once your onions are about done, go ahead and make a little center space right there and add another teaspoon of olive oil and we're gonna throw our tomato slices right into the center of that. Again, we're gonna cook these until these are nice and soft and you'll, you'll see your onions are becoming more translucent and everything's gonna blend together nicely. Once your veggies are all done, go ahead and add the rest of your meat that you had just cooked earlier and throw that all in and add more seasoning at this time. Once you're done with that, go ahead and place that into your serving bowl or platter. And then if you want to do this extra step, you can, it is not necessary, but if you do, go ahead and do this. Clean out your pan and crack an egg right in there. We're gonna want this over medium. So watch your egg. It'll only take you a couple of minutes on a medium high heat. And then we're gonna serve this on top of our delicious meal. To serve, go ahead and serve this with some salad or eat it by itself, some cauliflower rice if you'd like, have this with bread or regular rice, whatever it is that you prefer. If you guys like this recipe, please hit that subscribe button, like it and share it, 
And until the next meal, thank you for watching. Watch me cook.